So I'll spend quite a bit of time thinking about continuous measurements. So this, uh, if you remember, is when you've got an actual value that's measured, such as um, the white blood cell count we looked at, or um, blood pressure would be an example as well. So we've already seen the mean or average is a good way to give an overall summary of the central location of the data. Another way that can be done is by the middle value. That's less common, but sometimes if you've got a very skewed distribution, and this might be an example of a slightly skewed distribution, but if it was really skewed or you had lots of outlying values or it looked odd in some way, it might be better to use a median to summarise the data because the you know, it'll give you a sense of where the middle of the data is, whereas the mean is going to be very dominated by large values. And an easy way to assess um, how the data are distributed is using something called a histogram. So this is a histogram of a number of the measurements taken in that experiment, which was red blood cell count. And uh, what a histogram does is it plots the frequency, um, the number of values occurring at each point. So red blood cell count is measured here, it runs from about just under 2 up to 11 and there are about two values that have a value of 2, two have a value of 3, none have a value of 4 and so on and the majority have got a value of 8. So it gives a visual impression of how the data are distributed and it's a bit skewed but not desperately skewed so I'd probably be quite happy to present the mean um, to summarise this data, the mean slightly, sorry, the median is slightly different, slightly larger, um, because there's a bit of skewness in the data.